München im Backstage mit BAD, Jakob Binzer, der Leadgitarrist. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, schön. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so uh, just explain what you're doing. How are you using all yes. the stuff? Yeah. yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's okay. start with the guitar. Yeah. The place to start. This is the guitar. This is my good old uh, 1963 9, uh, uh, 19, uh, 63er uh, Jazzmaster. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mein Liebling. This is the guitar. Yeah. And it's a Sennheiser Wireless. Just normal stuff that you could buy in any store. And now we will move over here. Yeah. And this is my pedal board. And uh, I have this MIDI switcher. Yeah. You see that we have presets. And we have uh, effects on it. And this is... Uh, those those who know the song uh, Sleep My Day Away, this is the sound I use for Sleep My Day Away. It's a clean sound. Oh, perfect. It sounds yeah. like this. But then I put the compression in. And booster. Uh, I'll show later the effects. Yeah. And we have a TC tuner. We have a Dunlop, yeah. uh, Dunlop uh, rack mounted. Is it modified or is this a rack mounted wire? Yeah, rack yeah. mounted wire. Yeah. Boss volume pedal stock. This is a whammy pedal. This is the new thing I have this year. Yeah. And I just put it for one octave up. And this pedal is fucked up because you can't put it in neutral or say you lift like now it's now it's off. And listen closely now. And then I step on it. Oh okay. Oh uh, what oh, is the right. matter with this pedal? And you can't you can't put it in into the zero No. Okay. Fuck it. So um, <laughs> okay. an expression pedal for the delay. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. It is just for the um, amount of delay. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Just the amount of delay. This is uh, the interface that goes takes the signals back and forth from the rack. Um, so it's uh, it has some kind of uh, you know it doesn't lose the signal although you use a lot of cable. Yeah. And you switch all the stuff by yourself and um, like solo volume and stuff yeah, like that. I switch okay. everything by myself. Okay. Sometimes if if we play outdoor shows and I'm way out on the the ramp then my uh, tech he, he can change the programs but otherwise okay. I do it myself. Cool. And okay. I sing my own vocals as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So so while we're here we have new cabinets. Yeah, you've got new cabinets from new cabinets Star. this year. Uh, Black Star. Uh, okay. And they. Uh, the vintage 30, like. Yeah, vintage 30s. Yeah. And they're very uh, good quality, you know. Yeah. Heavy shit. Solid yeah. shit. So <laughs> okay. when I'm done with these, I'm gonna burn them, and they're gonna burn for like <laughs> half a year. Half a year. Like winter. Yes. Okay. <laughs> winter. Winter in Denmark. Okay. Cool. So there we got the rack and the amps. So we start with the amps over here. Okay. Here we have three JMPs, uh, 100 watts from uh, around 1980. Uh, okay. One channel. The yep. model is called 2203, and I had these the last time, and I will probably have them the next time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I used two of them, one for dirty, yep. uh, like, uh, one distorted, one clean, and one yep. spare. Okay. And they are completely identical, all of them, and they're stock, and they're not... No, not modified, nothing. Not modified, okay. no, nothing at all. And it's switch uh, solo volume and stuff um, via the rack? I, I switch, uh, yeah, oh, uh, oh, okay. uh, in, the, in the rack over here. Yeah, uh, okay. Okay. Here we have the wireless, here we have the power supply, yeah. uh, and with the interface... This is custom built for you. This yes. is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> This interface is built by Skrullstrup uh, in Denmark. Yeah. He builds racks for a lot of people and uh, it's really good stuff. Yeah. So I have three amps going into this. Yeah. And then it all goes to one cabinet. Then it goes a signal out to the TC. Yeah. Which yeah. goes to the uh, the slave amp. All right. And to the yeah. effects cabinet. So all delays and uh, modulation effects go through the TC and out in the effects, aim, uh, okay. uh, effects cabinet. Okay, ah, and you got that one, yeah. And here is the effects, pretty basic stuff. Yeah. This is the first pedal I bought. I was 14 years old. <laughs> okay, good decision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a vintage one, as we see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's all original, has it's my always, name on it. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
and uh, this is the 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 pedal I use uh, for yes. Monster Philosophy. Yeah, it's just this and the Marshall really. Okay. And uh, the booster for the clean sound. This is a distortion I bought a couple of years ago. All right. Sound, sounds good with the Jazzmaster. Okay. I, I only use it for very, very few songs, and we're not playing those these songs right now. Hang okay. on. Okay. Ah, no, some through. more, some more amps. Okay. Amps. <laughs> The, the old boss compressor, yeah, which I use for some, some clean sounds. You use for comp okay, yeah. so it's the one you switch for um, sleeping with away, yeah, for instance. Okay, the, the train sound consists of my jazz master, my compressor, okay, the booster, and then the clean marshal. All right, you, and, you still boost it with the micro amp, yeah, ah, okay, and then okay. Uh, and then the, the TC delay, all right, yeah. and uh, but it, that's that's life. I've I've done this for years and years and years. It's always the same. Okay. Yeah, always the same. And the metal zone, I was pretty. The um, metal zone is for yeah. uh, reconstructed. Okay. And I have a DI out in the the rack here. Yeah. And then it's just the it's guitar just a, to the to the uh, metal zone and you're, then you're, straight to the desk, the mixing desk. That's weird. No amp in between. Then that's it sounds, something we didn't expect. It sounds really uh, <laughs> artificial, flat. Yeah. You know. So like the 90s. Yeah. Sound. It's the way I recorded yeah. it on the album back then. Ah. Okay. So. Okay. So it's true. It's yeah. true. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. And um, maybe we could talk about the guitars yes. over there. We can talk about We got the still some here. some time. Um, you have um, a couple of them. You said. Yes. I have three now. Three jazz masters. They're all the same color. Yeah. And uh, but this one is the original and and the best. I, I've tried to get a second one. Because yeah. You said. Yeah. yeah I didn't I, want to fly with it. Yeah. And, but. I can't find one which is nearly as good as this one. Okay. So um, I'll just stick with this one and sell the others. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the good old. Um, yeah. Modified. Modified ES446. Yeah. Gibson. The um, Florentine. Yes. Yeah. And it's hollow. Yeah. But I have uh, a block inside here, which is yeah. not original, and I put this wrap around table he's on because. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the, the old the, one, the, yeah. uh, the original trapeze, trapeze didn't, yeah, yeah. doesn't work for for rock and roll, you know. Yeah, yeah. So this has a special sound and it's very light guitar. Yeah. And it sounds uh, <laughs> sounds <laughs> sounds just like. And um, but uh, the pickups, the pickups yeah. are what pickups in there? This is a P ninety four. Yeah. Okay. And this is a uh, Sigma Duncan SH five. All right, called. a custom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it has a, a little hotter output yeah. and a good bite in the mid range. It works fine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And you thought about the modification on your own, or did you have someone working on it? No, I did. I, it's all my own uh, okay. ideas. Cool. And some of some of them are good, some of them bad. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Okay. No. Cool. This is uh, my new Les Paul. Uh, yeah. I just bought. Uh, I just thought, yeah, it's a new. Yeah. Okay. But it's a uh, classic. And classic, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. in its uh, from uh, 1999, I think. It's almost vintage. Yeah, almost yeah. vintage. And yeah. uh, it's. Uh, I like these Les Pauls. I've had a few of them, the classics from the 90s. Yeah. And I like them. And this. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's got the 60s neck. Yeah, 60s neck. Yeah, but you changed the pickups, I think. They had, yeah. there were no covers in yeah, the original. The, the 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 previous owner had, uh, had had these covers put on, but it's it is the original pickups. Ah right. Yeah. Okay. So all it's, right. it's really just original, all original. Okay. Well, what strings you use or what? I think on it's the, on the Les Paul. Yeah. It's uh, a basic 10, 10, 10 to 46. Okay. Set. And they are all tuned normal or? Yeah, all tuned normal. Okay. And on this on the white tuning. one, I have a, a 10 to 48 okay. or 49. Okay. And uh, standard tuning. And on Jazzmaster, I have 11 to 49. Ah, right. Standard okay. Tuning. Like, yes. Okay. So, cool, okay. pretty basic. It's, it's pretty basic, yeah. yeah. And you got an acoustic there yeah. uh, <laughs> as well. Yes. So, the basic uh, Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Cool. Actually. <laughs> 